Shapes have emotions to me. They make you feel happy, they make you feel good. But I like having a darkness underneath it, a dark side to it. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's how I view the world or something. My name is Hachi, and I make toys for a living. This is my art. Uh, this is some of the stuff I make. My favorite here, Minosu on the Golden Bull. My little bat wing ninja. Spike, I love my little Spike. He's so cute and deadly. Pimp Yakuza, his big white fur coat. We've got my original Skullhead figures. We've got other versions of Skullhead down here. I've always done character design. I used to do it in 2D. Started on paper, was always making characters as a kid. And now I wrap around it in 3D. I got things the front, the back, the colors. Um, the textures and the fabrics and the paints and all that. I discovered the stuff coming out of Hong Kong early on and was very inspired by the stuff Jason Su, Michael Lau, Eric So, the guys who kind of are the godfathers of this movement. I grew up fascinated with ninjas, samurai, geishas, that kind of thing. That has been a big influence on my work for a long time. And, and even, you could say, video games. And uh, there's a lot of similarity between my process on that and how, and how I've been making stuff within Modern Nation. On many levels too, because you allow for like the textures. It's not just colors and accessories. You can also change the textures within the vehicles, the carts, and the characters. And there's a lot of similarity and I've actually been inspired from some of the stuff I've made in Modern Nation. I've wanted to make in vinyl figures or custom stuff too. It's gone both ways. It's fun. It's almost therapy. <laughs> I decided I wanted to put Skullhead in the game. Skullhead was an angel of death. He um, worked for the Man of Stairs, and he got in a fight. He got stripped of his wings and thrown down to Earth. What did he do best? He gathered souls, so he became an assassin through the ages. In Mod Nation Racers, I realized by layering different decals, I could take solid shapes, uh, squares, circles, triangles, that kind of thing, cut them all up, put them all together, and I could make the shape I was going for. Nose was easy, it's two long black triangles kind of overlapping. And then mark out his teeth, I just took a little black skinny decals and kind of placed them out and spaced them out correctly and lined them up. The eyes, they were two black circles, twisted them, made them a little uh, stretched out, and put a white square over it to cut off the top edge of it. The striped suit was pretty easy. I took some red rectangles, long skinny ones, and layer them on the body. And then I wanted to make a spike belt. It's another long black rectangle that wrapped around his body. Made a silver one for his belt buckle and then got a bunch of little round decals, made the color silver and metallic, pasted them and duplicated them. And then I would take like four or six of them and make a decal set out of that and just repaste that all the way around. By doing this, by layering all these decals, um, I could get what I wanted. Skullhead always has these knobs on his head, the bones. And I want to get it over here on the back of his head about where it should be. I really want to stylize him. I want to make the bones big and chunky and then scale to his head so that they have the right emotion, the right feel. And then I will duplicate it and I will pull another one out and stick it next to it. And now I could just keep duplicating it. Keep reusing the same shape, it just counts as one, which is a nice little feature. They look kind of like bone knobs, don't they? If I'm correct, I got Skullhead with my bones on his head. He looks kind of awesome, I must say. The Skullhead needs a cart, and I decided that he needs a badass cart. So I went with this classic muscle car body here, but it's nowhere near done. We need to make this more badass. We need to throw on here a large engine block sticking out of the hood. We want to look like it's seen some action. He's not new on the block, he's been around. Maybe we'll put some bullet holes on this side. Dirt and mud and damage and scrapes. If I wanted to get really gross with this, I'm sure I could chain that mud. <laughs> make it red, it looks like he hit some roadkill. What? What? Once I'm done with it and I've got all my details on it, I'm gonna straight up pwn Jesse. Three, two, one, go! The amount of customization you could do with the different characters is, is a lot of fun. Getting spanked over here isn't so fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missing place, who's shooting me? <laughs> oh, it was you. There's a lot you can do, it's really kinda... It's really deep, but really easy to use. Wow, getting burned here. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> oh 
Well, what are you doing in fourth place and I'm in eighth? I'm in third now, buddy. It's a lot of fun. It's very similar to the work I do customizing, the work Jesse does customizing figures. You know, it's up to you what you want to do with it, what you want to put into it. You beat me, what the hell? What's up, son? <laughs> What's up, son? <laughs> Yo, what up? This is Jesse Hernandez. And I'm Huck G. And, and these, these are, are our mods. mods. Thank you.